Jobs for entrepreneurs. What an oxymoron. Do you guys know what the definition of an entrepreneur is? And do you know what the definition of a job is? Before you clock into your job today, you might want to know the definition. Look, entrepreneurship, the act of setting up a business or businesses taking financial risk in the hope of profit. Okay. Now, what is a job? All right. I'm getting these definitions for a reason. Okay. Job, a paid position of regular employment, a task or piece of work, especially one that's paid by casual or occasional work. Okay. So simple de definition, the work that a person does regularly in order to earn money, a duty or task or function that someone or something else has. Okay. Now it might sound similar. Well, you'd be like, well, both of them are work, right? Well, the difference is with entrepreneurship, you're taking risks in hope of profit. With a job, there's no risk. Well, there actually is way greater risk and I'll explain that too, so keep watching. But with a job, you're doing it for somebody else. With entrepreneurship, you're doing it for yourself. So before you clock in today, I need you to see what I'm talking about. Okay, watch this. Uh, jobs for entrepreneurs. We're gonna go here. Okay, so it's no such, now you can see why it's so confusing and how people are trying to destroy your mind. All right, there's no such thing as a job for an entrepreneur. An entrepreneur is an independent person that wants to sh unshackle themselves from the oppression of a nine to five and go out and work for their own dreams instead of somebody else's dream, okay? A job, you're trying to live for someone else. So look, top jobs for entrepreneurs, social media manager, public relations manager, appraiser, financial advisor, marketing manager, web developer, sales manager, systems analyst. Okay, so they're trying to blend these when and, and play on your, uh, your, your ignorance a little bit, no offense, okay? Some of these are full entrepreneurship, others are actual jobs. For instance, a social media manager, you can run your own agency. You don't even have to do the work. You can outsource all of that. So it's not the same thing as a clock in job. Okay. Same thing with an appraiser. You can work for a company, but you can be solo as well. A web developer can work for an agency or they can be a freelance web developer and work on sites like Fiverr and Upwork. So it's not the same thing. Now, when you get to stuff like a sales manager or, or systems analyst and, and public relations manager or something like that, then that's actual nine to five clock in work for somebody else stuff. But the problem is an entrepreneur is supposed to be taking his or her skills and profiting and growing their own brand and something that they can pass down to their relatives after they pass or whatever, okay? So my point is this, you cannot apply for one of these jobs and pass down a job to your kids. With a job, your kid is still gonna have to fill, like, fill out the application no matter how many years you were there. They might get a little help, but you can't leave that company to your child. So you're setting them up. If you got a nine to five job, I'm sorry to say, that if you're not saving every single penny, every single penny, you're setting the next generation up for slavery. You're setting them up to be in a financial bind, bad credit and all of those things. And to turn wheels, the ones that you're stuck turning right now, trying to figure out a way that you can live on the beach and get free. Oh, damn, I got to wait till I'm 41 till I can freaking enjoy life. You're setting your kids up for that. Do you really want that for them? Entrepreneurship grants you the possibilities and if you know the formula, the guarantees of actually leaving something behind for your children, okay? It's not easy. I'm not going to act like it's easy, but guess what? Anything worth it, you are supposed to work for. If you want a great relationship, long term, stay married and all of that, you think it's not going to be hardships, but it's better than continuing to start over every time somebody farts in a bed or something. No. <laughs> all right, you get what I'm trying to say? So listen, guys, if you're about to go to a job today, man, I it doesn't matter how much they're paying you. It's never going to be enough to pass down to the next generation. It's never going to be enough 
to put your name on it. No matter how nice they are, they're not going to leave you in their will. Those are fantasy movies and stuff. So they're not going to pass you down uh, the company. They're going to pass it down to their kids and your kids are going to be working for their kids. How embarrassing. Generations of oppression. When you can cut the umbilical cord from these nine to five jobs right now, and start killing it, all right? And we have free business startup courses in the description of this video. You can sign up for a free trial on the software and we will transfer all of the courses over there to you for entrepreneurship, building YouTube channels, building local businesses, all of that, everything we have experience in. That way you do not have to clock in today, okay? All right, so love you guys. See you in the next one.